If you blink, you might miss him. Now it's time for Here to Stay, presented by Hilton. And of course, this is the segment of the program, and it was a perfect tee up there for Matt, because of course, we spoke to them earlier in the week. He's high on Oscar Piastri. And of course, that's a pretty solid pick. If, of course, we knew the results after Q1 and both McLarens not being able to get out of there. But some rookies that have been standing out, you have Oscar Piastri starting 15th and lower along with his teammate in Lando Norris. And then you have Logan Sargent, the American, with both of those Williams going five and six. Gentlemen, maybe if we were supposed to predict what those rookies would look like, it would probably be inverted. We would expect Oscar Piastri, the first rookie, to have multiple podiums since Lewis Hamilton in 2007. Shout out to Darren Ayotte in research for that little nugget. <laughs> um, but you guys best. are both high on Piastri. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, Piastri... To me, one, the team is invested in him, right? And they really should be because, yes, multiple podiums in year one. He has been half of the best story of the second half sure. of the season in terms of McLaren's big comeback. Once they rolled out their new platform and improvements, they already had two drivers who could tote the load. And now, like, the only question isn't if Piastri is here to stay. It's a matter of whether he's the one or the two. Ooh. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's, that's juicy, Spencer. <laughs> Hot uh, take. It's, it's a hot take for now, but maybe in a year, it, maybe it won't be. He's the, oh. I think he's that good. We, we knew there was hype, and that's why there was the battle in the offseason for him sure. and all that drama, but he ends up signing a long-term deal to be with McLaren, and, and he's part of that return story. Because without without having a really good driver lineup, sure. even if they fix the car, they're not surging up like they have been in both rides. Both Lando and Piastri have done their thing. He's been great. He's outstanding. He's the easy answer here. Logan Sargent could have potential of a big weekend. Sure. And when you look at where he's at uh, relative to Alex Albon, though, that's where his year has been really challenging. Yeah. Is he's got one point. He's registered one point a single point for Williams. Albon, his teammate, is 27. Yep. He's firmly planted in 13. That is a massive delta between between teammates. So Great you, usage of delta. Love it and love yeah. it. Love the airline. See you at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, I love the. I, I love what he. I love what uh, Piastri's done. But what Sargent has done. I hope he gets a ride next year. Sure. We will wait and see. I'm not sure he has earned it, but tonight in his home country here, this could be a big, big statement for him. I mean, at this point, he is racing for that seat that he is yet to be committed to um, in that Williams recording one point. But listen, when there's two races to go, and this is the highest an American has started in a race, whether it's here or abroad in a very, very long time, that's a good way, if we're talking recency bias, to make the bosses a touch happy. There is the American from Fort Lauderdale. He's calling this his, his home race right here, even though he's from Fort Lauderdale and really Miami should be his home race. But listen, that was back in May. But Spencer, I have to hover on what you said about Oscar Piastri being McLaren's darling child because in the driver's standings right now, it's Lando Norris in fifth. Yep. And he's about 100 points better right now than Oscar Piastri, who is in ninth. Fortunately for McLaren, they don't have to as we take a look at Logan Sargent. Best finish, 10th, the U.S. Grand Prix, and then best qualifying, 7th. He's going to start 5th, 6th, alongside his Williams running mate. But back to Lando and Oscar. McLaren is in a fortunate position that they don't necessarily have to make that decision, who's going to be driver one, who's yeah. going to be driver two, because Piastri, he signed through 2026. They don't have to make a decision like that at, at any time soon. Yeah, this is a great contrast, by the way, of job security, right? Like, job, <laughs> like job security for all of us is an issue. Most relatable driver on the grid right now is Logan Sargent. <laughs> He's because, like, man, I hope my key card still works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like we're all week to week, baby, right? Uh, Piastri, in contrast, deep investment on the part of the team, right? Because they know they have something in him, and they don't have to make that pick between one and two now. They really don't because they have two drivers who are both capable of competing, not just in the mid, not just in the top ten, but of actually getting on the podium. And I would say that you also need to make sure to keep that lineup. Lando, making sure Lando is happy, keeping Lando Absolutely, there. Because yeah. that one-two punch, you could put them up there against any driver pairing on the grid, without a doubt.